So you might be considering buying a home in the Twin Cities, but you aren't sure whether right now is the time to buy, especially with higher interest rates in play. In this video, I share four reasons why I would argue right now is the perfect opportunity to buy a house in the Twin Cities, that waiting until spring will end up costing you thousands of dollars more. If we haven't met before, I'm Bailey Beckman, a local realtor here in the Twin Cities. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to be the first to know about market changes and maximizing your investment dollars. The first reason why right now is a perfect opportunity to buy a home is the overall housing market stability. This seems odd, I know, especially because every single news line you see right now is talking about the impending doom of a recession. And let's be honest, we are all feeling the impacts of inflation. However, what you may not know is that in eight of the last nine recessions, home prices increased rather than decreased. The one recession where home prices tanked was the recession that was caused by the housing market, in large due to horrendous lending practices. Now, we are in a much safer lending market. Not just anyone can go next door to get a mortgage. Now, there are some negative side effects to that because you can maybe afford an insane monthly rent payment but might not qualify for a home mortgage, but that's a whole different can of worms we're not gonna address today. Anyway, lenders have much higher standards and are qualifying people for homes that they can actually afford. Here you can see the percentage of people that are defaulting on their mortgages, which just means they aren't able to make their payments. During the crash, this number was dramatically higher, and we could tell that something bad was even on the horizon dating back to 2006, leading up to 2008. This number was steadily increasing. So now you know that we are in fact in a very stable housing market, and there aren't any signs that we are headed for a crash. But another reason why right now is a great opportunity to buy a home is because overall prices have leveled out for the season. This was expected as we head into the slow season, which is impacted by the winter months here in Minnesota, and the school year. A huge part of the home ownership population are parents and families. They don't want to uproot a kid in the middle of the school year. The next reason why right now is a great opportunity to buy is the reduced competition in the market. But to talk about competition, we have to address the elephant in the room, interest rates. I can't lie to you, it does suck that it is more expensive to borrow money right now than it was last year, which ends up making a negative impact on overall buying power. But there are two huge pros to the increase in interest rates. The first being that reduced competition. Because it is more expensive to borrow, there are fewer active buyers in the market. When there's less demand, home prices are more negotiable and you will see far fewer homes selling for thousands of dollars above asking. Buyers also have more time to make decisions versus having a seller call for highest and best offer 24 hours after the house went live because they already have eight offers on the table. The second pro to increased interest rates is that they change. Most lenders will require that you keep your existing mortgage for a minimum of six months, but after that time period, you are able to refinance your loan if interest rates drop. There are so many programs available from a multitude of local lenders that you can explore that even offer a free refinance option. Ask your lender partner what options are available or comment on this video if you'd like a referral. So now you have reduced competition, which leads to less expensive houses with an interest rate that can be refinanced. The final reason why right now is a perfect opportunity to buy is you have more negotiation power as a buyer. And I'm talking about more than just the purchase price of a home because yes, we all wanna spend less money, but realistically, there are so many other moving pieces in a real estate deal that can make a bigger impact on your experience as a homeowner. Your negotiation power can allow you to ask for a number of things, such as a home inspection. During peak buying seasons, you may see people opt out of an inspection in order to make their offer more compelling when competing against other offers. The reason why it is more compelling to a seller is because it is one less spot that can lead to a fallout. Say you get cold feet and you don't want the house anymore, but there was an outlet that needed to be changed. A buyer can walk away while keeping all of their money. This leaves the seller high and dry, needing to go back on the market with a stain on their reputation. You can also have more leverage power to ask for repairs or money back. Now, I don't mean you should have an inspection with the mindset that you are going to get something back. It is just an option. But you can also ask for seller paid closing costs. This means you have to bring less cash from your bank account to the closing, and either the seller can pay for it or you can wrap it up into your home mortgage loan. Come this spring, finance professionals are expecting interest rates to come back down again, closer to four, maybe 5%. With that brings more competition. 
It's all about the supply and demand balance, and it could end up costing you thousands of dollars more to purchase interest, even if interest rates are lower than they are right now. With engagement season on the horizon, I will be covering all of your finance questions about buying a home as a couple in my upcoming video series. Subscribe to my channel to get notifications on these new videos weekly.